Well, Chuck Talk number two, and let's hope this is not a trend that continues. Let's hope we find more offense in the weeks to come, and more than likely, I think the Seahawks will. They've got to figure this group out up front. They've got to figure out a way to get 88 more involved, and certainly Russell Wilson into some rhythm, some help around him as well. Uh, but this was, I think, one of the cooler plays of the game. Uh, not cool in its execution because it should have been a touchdown, as should have another touchdown in the two series later. But this is the opening drive of the Seahawk game against the 49ers. An unbelievable drive of third down conversions, third and long conversions. And this is second and goal down in the red zone. This is play 15 of ultimately a 16 play drive. And in this town, Daryl Bevel gets a lot of heat. Hashtag fire Daryl Bevel. Hashtag red zone incompetency. Right? All of the challenges that this group has had. And last year, I mean, the facts are the facts. They were 25th in the league scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Cost them games, right? Just 45%. Winning football collegiately is above 75%. If you can get in the NFL, 60 to 65% scoring touchdowns, and it's hard scoring touchdowns, that's winning football. But you can't be where they were a year ago at 45% and 25th in the league, and it's a priority to find touchdowns. So we'll come back, as we always do, to players, formations, plays. Second and goal, the play before, first and goal at the seven, they were in a three tight end set. They tried to run the ball, Ross, uh, Rawls hesitated, got Zippo, zero zilch, nothing. So you're second and goal now at the seven yard line, players. Now let me get Jimmy Graham, right, we hear this all the time, and let me get C.J. Procise. And in this case in particular, let me get C.J. Procise involved. An excellent route runner, a mismatch on linebackers and safeties when he's out of the backfield. Uh, tremendous play earlier in the drive, breaking tackles, converting a third down. So in this case, 22. Let me get my players involved. In 88, if there's a different coverage, players formations plays. The Seahawks line up in a bunch formation, a pretty cool set that if you've watched these chalk talks through the years, it really forces a defense to show some of their hand. You're going to play man, you're going to play zone, and then ultimately in this formation, you motion Jimmy Graham across. For you long-tenured chalk talkers, you know why you do that. I want to see what this defense is doing. Do they run a man across? Are they in man coverage? Or are they going to play some zone? Well, they motion across the formation, Jimmy Graham, and nobody bumps uh, or nobody runs across. They just bump out. And you get even more of what you want, that zone coverage, that tell for Russell, that tell for C.J. Procise, that this is coming to you, buddy. You know, just do your job. Let's all execute, but we're getting exactly what we want. And then ultimately the play. And the play runs Luke Wilson on a little corner route and Jimmy Graham, and it expands everybody here, and there's nowhere to go on this side. This is all dead, and they know it once they motion across, once they know it's zone. This side of the field is done and over, and that's just fine. So X all of this out. Now the whole game is played here. And look at the numbers that you have now. And look who you got involved. You got Paul Richardson on a corner. You're going to have Doug Baldwin on a safety or linebacker or CJ Procise on a safety or linebacker. Win. This is what you've got to do. Create the matchups in the red zone to, in the plays to ultimately go out and win. Uh, Paul Richardson does a great job versus this cover. This guy's job is to try to hammer him up before he drops in the zone. He slips underneath him. He runs a little crossing route and he takes this out of the picture. So this whole thing is dead. And that's okay. Doug Baldwin, you do your job. Run a little shallow cross, come across the field, take this linebacker who hunts you up. You know what? And this is all dead. So now what do I got? What, what do I have left now? Now I've got a little angle route in space here with a corner that's going to have to play behind it. Safety's taken out. Linebacker's taken out. And ultimately, San Francisco's smart. They're well coached. Earl Mitchell, their veteran uh, lineman, he's feeling this. He starts to drop out. But look at this green grass. This window of opportunity right here, exactly what you want. Players, formations, plays. The play to take advantage of that space right there. Even with the D tackle that's starting to drop off and a corner that's closing, CJ, great route. Great speed, great effort, sets his angle, everything is right there. QB drops back, unfortunately Odiambo gets beat, no problem. He's a second baseman, he can throw it from here, he can throw it from here, he can do whatever he needs to do. He throws an absolute seed right on the face mask of CJ Procise. Everything you want. Everything you ever want out of Daryl Bevel, offensive coordinator. Everything you want in the matchup with a dropping D tackle and a corner that can't get there. All he's got to do is catch, fall into the end zone. This is 7-0. You're one for one. You march 15 plays, seven minutes. Crowd goes crazy. This defense says, oh my gosh, we're going to be in for it again. Instead, it's a drop. It forces a field goal. Another field goal on a McAvoy drop. 
Changed the whole outcome, the whole dynamic of the game, and it shouldn't have. Players, formations, plays, everything was there, except the execution to catch it and fall into the end zone.